The year was 1995. A young audio engineer was working for a company that knew a little about audio. Tim Carroll worked for Dolby Laboratories in New York and then San Francisco. From film to DVD to broadcast, Dolby covered it all. It was in this position he learned that digital audio was not just for major motion pictures anymore. Yes, digital TV was beginning, and soon after the turn of the century, digital sound, specifically surround sound, was going to be a reality in homes. But alongside the myriad problems digital audio introduced came an enlightenment. TV stations needed to control those new digital audio signals as easily as they did the analog ones. At the time, no one seemed to be worrying that the light at the end of a long tunnel of development was in fact an oncoming freight train. And so, like many other successful technical entrepreneurs before him, Tim started in a garage. It was 2001, and the designing of the Octomax 5.1 audio processor was underway. Stations needed to control loudness from a network and local level, and Octimax was the solution. After Tim and Leif Clayson debuted the Octimax and the analog Upmax Upmixer prototype at a Simpty show in Pasadena, a company that was switching their stations over to digital took notice and gave Linear Acoustic the chance it needed. Now, development on newer, specific niche products would begin to come out of the Linear Acoustic think tank, and people began to notice. In 2008, the Telos Alliance was formed, which included Telos, Omnia, Axia, and Linear Acoustic. Today, Linear Acoustic has traveled far from the garage where assemblies were hand soldered for the company's first products. With 16 people based in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and seven more scattered around the globe, Linear Acoustic has become an industry leader in the digital television audio world. Their new facility allows the sales teams and product development specialists to meet and discuss current and future products. The engineering and design is done in-house, and contributions to products come from around the globe. Assemblies are manufactured by local vendors under the watchful eye of Linear Acoustic. The engineers are continually testing new developments in this ever-changing technological industry we call broadcast. Final assembly is completed in-house by trained technicians, and an extensive testing and burn-in process is completed before each unit is approved for shipment. The unparalleled technical support Linear Acoustic offers is nothing short of amazing. In today's world of email and voicemail support, Linear Acoustic has always provided live phone support 24-7, 365 days a year. They realize that their products are the front end of mission-critical broadcast operations. And in the end, humans want to deal with well, humans. And just like those original units created in the garage, each linear acoustic product is carefully designed, manufactured, and tested by skilled engineers and technicians. Although the company has grown, the fundamentals of how products are produced is still as strong as when the first Octimax shipped. And in 2010, the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences thought Linear Acoustic deserved a small accolade for their pioneering work in audio and metadata processing for the ATSC standard. Broadcast is the DNA of Linear Acoustic. It's what they love to do. 
and it will always stay that way.